We might move on to other subjects. Sorry if those people still have their hands up. You're watching Q&A. Remember, you can send your web or video questions to our website. The address is on the screen. Our next question is a video on a very different subject, and it comes from Sarah Taylor in Newcastle, New South Wales. This one's for you, Charles. Some men masquerade a love for women for their own benefit, including sexual. Their fraud is revealed when they then want to control our minds and bodies. In my experience, the best lovers are those who are men who like and respect women in all our shapes and sizes and varieties. I put you in this category with your well-documented respect for such women as Jermaine Greer. Can a misogynist ever be a great lover? <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> I'll have to weep my words, if nothing else. Uh, I, I find the, uh, the best lovers, and I have no experience on this, are those who recognise that real pleasure is the giving of pleasure rather than the receiving of it. So once you recognise that, then I think you've got the key to uh, the way ahead. <laughs> what, uh, I appreciate we've made a large that jump. That is a large gap. No, 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 I appreciate we've made a large jump from carbon tax. <laughs> this is carbon <laughs> dating. This is about the only dating I'm doing lately. Uh, what about the formulation that some men make a masquerade out of love because what they really want to do is control the bodies and minds of women? That's undoubtedly true, and I've been cashing in on that masquerading <laughs> as one who sees through that for a long time. Well, I'll take you off the hook. I'll go to Liz Ann McGregor. What do you think? Oh, goodness, what a question. Um, Can a misogynist be a great lover? I think it was the I final wouldn't question. know. I don't normally hang out with misogynists, I'm afraid. So I'm afraid <laughs> not I'm not... Not even accidentally? Not even accidentally, time. from time to time. No, I mean, I, I think this is one of these generational questions, isn't it? Aren't we kind of over all that? Aren't we... I'm able to talk about men and women in a more equal sense now rather than uh, thinking about misogyny. They do exist, of course. I come across them from time to time. But, um, no, I think relations between men and women have come on a long way. Stephen O'Doherty, I know we're taking you to strange territory here, but... Uh... <laughs> like like the government, you. I like to start low and then... <laughs> <laughs> you have no choice. <laughs> Um, look, we could, we could just perhaps uh, contemplate the nature of love, if you like. Well, I tell you, I mean, there's a serious edge to it. I, I read a fascinating article in the Weekend's Press about young women, men and women, who, and I'm talking about, you know, 16 to like 25, who go out and get plastered in a nightclub. And um, sexual conquests are then what they talk about on Facebook the next day. There's a distinct lack of respect that's being shown there. Now, whether I don't know that it's misogyny per se, but it's just a lack of respect for the other sex or for their partner, a lack of respect for themselves in the end. And I think it's a very serious issue that's emerging for our young people. Penny Wong, you're off the hook. You're not talking about climate change. You're not you talking about talk carbon about that. tax. <laughs> <laughs> you reckon this is easier? Yeah. Yeah. I think you should ask me another question. On, 26 26 dollars. Dollars. 26 dollars. Dollars. The question was, can a misogynist ever make a great lover? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> No thoughts on the subject. No, whatsoever. really, I'm not no. qualified. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not sure that misogyny necessarily takes sexual preference into account. Uh, well, um, I don't know how to answer this question. <laughs> There's some, a part of approach for, to this. <laughs> yes, I'm waiting for Matthias to, to jump in. But he's not going to um, interrupt me on Way this one, I don't, think. I don't think. Uh, look, I, I, I would hope that um, uh, respect is... Uh, and respect for the other is is a part of how we interact in our most intimate relationships uh, as as in the rest of our lives. Matthias Gorman. Uh, why, why beyond my area of expertise, uh, Tony? So yes, everyone my... wants to say yeah. that. But, uh, <laughs> funnily well, enough, uh, human relations are quite common among people. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Not necessarily sex with myself. Uh, I, 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 we're, we're going beyond the yes. political now, Matthias. So yeah, you and delve into your own personal experience to answer this one. And, and, and the answer, I guess, would be no. Okay. Well, that's a reason. <laughs>